Hey guys, and welcome to today's session. It's Eli Barati, and today I've got a real special guest alongside me, Roma Ruiz. Hello, guys. Okay, he's from France, if you don't know him, and he's famous for his backhand super flick, which I am about to rebrand as the Triple R backhand flick. Oh man, this flick has gone viral. It's, f for me, probably the best I, triple R. Some people call it the banana, some people call it the strawberry flick, but for me today, it's the triple R flick. So, can you tell us, how did you get to do this extraordinary flick, please? When I was a kid, I was trying many different movements with my wrist, and uh, it's happened that I was five or six years old, and I found it naturally. And uh, then when I was older, my last coach, Julien Girard, he told me to, to practice it because he said it was not so bad. And then we work on this on the multi-ball and then I can make it in match and it's pretty good, I think, sometimes. I agree. I think it's absolutely amazing. And some of you guys, you can search some other video YouTube uh, clips of Roma playing this stroke in matches and making the best players look very average, sometimes even silly. Okay, so as you may notice, it's extremely deceptive and it's a wonderful shot to have in your repertoire. I'm going to give you three tips to help you with this um, flick. Number one, you want to try and get into the position in terms of having exactly the same position as if you are going to play a banana flick. So you have that position there ready. Once you've got this position, then it's very, very hard to tell. But if you're going like this, then people kind of almost automatically know you're going to do the triple R flick. But if you're ready to do a, a banana flick, then you can adjust to go to do a banana or a triple R flick as you just saw. Tip number two. This is really, really important because if you get the timing wrong, then the ball will go in the net or off the end. So you've got to really make sure that you time the ball in terms of top of the bounce. You don't want to be hitting the ball too late or too early, otherwise to execute this shot with real aggression and energy, you must make sure that you ca capture the ball at top of the bounce and then you can get a little bit extra spin and speed. And tip number three, it's just about the wrist movement, little adjustments. It's not a massive arm movement. This is more for producing a lot of side spin. So you want to just use snapping the wrist and hopefully that will help you. Now, hopefully Roman will maybe add a few tips to my 
Conclusion. Yes, so if you are doing this in match or in training, you have to be sure in your mind that you will make it on the table. Because if you hesitate before to make it, for sure you will miss it. So just focus on the thing, you will do it for sure, and then try. Great tip. That's an absolute perfect tip. Okay, thank you very much, Omar. I'd like to uh, thank you guys for watching as always. Hopefully I'll have more amazing star guests as we have today. I don't know if we'll ever have a better uh, flicker than this young man on our show. But I just want to thank you and please support us, subscribe, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Thank you, Omar. With pleasure.